Yes, I'm talking about the uh, Seventh Day Man. There are many different groups of Seventh Day Man, but they all have one thing in common. Uh, they claim that Christians need to observe the Seventh Day Sabbath, and often they use the 24th chapter of the book of Matthew and claim that this uh, book, that chapter, uh, shows that Christ intended for, that his followers would observe the Seventh Day Sabbath. But I uh, have a very different view of the uh, 24th uh, chapter of Matthew. It, uh, in nowhere in there does Christ tell his uh, people that they should observe the Seventh Day Sabbath, nor does he imply that it was taken for granted that they would observe the Seventh Day Sabbath. Instead, in the 24th chapter of Matthew, Christ uh, tells his people to pray that their journey or their travel would not occur on the seventh day Sabbath. And uh, so he did not tell them to refrain from traveling on the Sabbath. He just told them uh, that they should pray that the travel would not occur at that time. And uh, so there's speculation on uh, what was going on. Why uh, should they uh, hope that their travel would not occur on the Sabbath? Uh, seems pretty clear to me that uh, there was some difficulty involved in traveling on uh, the Sabbath day. So, given the fact that uh, Christ was talking to his followers that lived in Judea and uh, that region, it would seem that traveling on the Sabbath would have been difficult because uh, there were large numbers of Jews in that area. These were uh, non-Christian Jews and uh, the Christians were living in that area and these uh, non-Christian Jews would make it difficult for people to travel on the Sabbath. These, uh, these Jews were living under the, according to the rules of the Old Covenant and they had strict rules about uh, traveling on the Sabbath and uh, they often uh, inflicted those rules upon people who happened to be in that area especially if the uh, person was from a Jewish background and uh, a lot of those uh, early Christians were from a Jewish background and living in that area and so the uh, other Jews would make it difficult for those Christians to travel on the Sabbath when they were in that area. And so that is, I think that that is why Christ was mentioning that it would be difficult to travel on the seventh day Sabbath. Also, if you look in the uh, 24th uh, chapter of Matthew and look further at what Christ said, he uh, told his people that they should pray that their travel would not occur in winter. And uh, we can be uh, uh, sure that there's nothing wrong about uh, traveling in winter. And uh, that no, nothing says that Christians uh, must, must refrain or should refrain from traveling in winter. And yet Christ told uh, his people that they should pray that their travel would not occur in winter. It seems uh, clear to me that traveling in winter would uh, be either dangerous or difficult because of the wintry weather at the time, uh, especially under the primitive type conditions that occurred then. So I would uh, think that traveling in winter would have been difficult just as traveling on the Sabbath would have been difficult in that area. And uh, it was okay. Uh, the uh, Christianity did not prohibit them from traveling in the winter, and yet it would be difficult to travel in the winter because of uh, the wintry weather. Uh, when they went outdoors, uh, and, uh, it would be cold. Uh, and likewise, traveling on the Sabbath would not be prohibited by Christianity but it would be difficult because of uh, things going on in that area, namely uh, that the uh, Jews uh, would have gotten angry at them if these Jews had seen uh, the Christians traveling on the Sabbath and, and Jews did various things uh, to ma make it difficult to uh, travel or do things on the Sabbath in that area. Um, I read that even uh, a lot of the harbors were closed on the Sabbath, just as, uh, say, an airport in Israel or various places might be closed uh, today on the Sabbath, or just as there are some uh, parts of the world where things are closed on Sunday because of the blue laws. And uh, so um, 
just because Christ said that uh, they should pray that their travel would not occur on Sabbath or during the winter would not mean that uh, Christianity would prohibit them from traveling on those days. Also, if uh, Christ had intended that no travel would occur on the Sabbath, he wouldn't have bothered to tell uh, his people that they should pray that their travel not occur on the Sabbath. Instead, Christ would have just reminded them that uh, they would not be able to travel on the Sabbath, and he would have had to say something like, uh, pray that the event which causes you to wish to travel does not occur on the Sabbath because uh, you won't be traveling on the Sabbath even if the uh, uh, even if it's going to be difficult for you uh, to refrain from traveling so he would have stressed don't travel on the Sabbath even if uh, you really need to but he didn't say that he just told them uh, to pray that uh, their travel would not occur on the Sabbath and yet he uh, open up the or mention the possibility that their travel would indeed be on the Sabbath. So the the twenty fourth chapter of Matthew does not uh, stand for the uh, proposition that Christians were prohibited from traveling on the Sabbath. And so, unfortunately, uh, over here we still have uh, religious freedom and s stuff like that, which allows the Seventh Day men to uh, promote their ideas and stuff about the seventh day sabbath and uh but hopefully we can clear that up and you know eliminate these kinds of groups that are uh, promoting these ideas and stuff but anyway that that's what i was going to say so uh 24th chapter of matthew uh, does not show that christians were prohibited from traveling in winter and it does not show that christians were prohibited from uh, traveling on the sabbath it was just that it could be difficult in that area for them to uh, travel on Sabbath or in winter time. So long.